oil rig. So that some of the, the debunkers were trying to say it was. And then uh, the, the Mexican government actually asked uh, Jaime Masson to investigate for the government and interview all these crews. And they, they gave him uh, top secret information to, or classified information to use. And, and uh, that, you know, it's very convincing that these guys saw something and the reaction was similar to our Navy flyers. Uh, with, with that video that was released 13 years later, but taken about the same time is March uh, 2004. Yeah, it's very, uh, very similar. Rich Hoffman was the guest who you called in to, to talk to about that. And Hoffman had, and his team from SCU had done the analysis on this Aguadilla uh, object that had been uh, recorded. Uh, same kind of thing. Uh, agents uh, on a drug interdiction mission with these infrared cameras recorded the thing. And it clearly is not a bird. It's not any Chinese drone. It's not flare. Same thing with this Mexican Air Force video. And I, I think if people will search for it, they can find it uh, online. Bill, thanks for the call. Always good talking to you. Uh, east of the Rockies, Josh in Indianapolis. Hi, Josh. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing really good tonight. How about you? Okay. What's on your mind? So I've really been wanting to get this off my chest. Um. A couple years ago, it was like five years back, I was 32, I was at home, I was watching a movie, Then that night I went to bed, normally as usual, um, and I woke, like, I woke up in a world that was unfamiliar to me. I was standing there in what seemed to be a world of, like, brown. I don't know if it was chocolate because I was watching Willy Wonka, but I, it seemed like I was never going to get out. It felt like forever. And I don't know if there were any entities in that world, but all I know is that I never thought I'd live to see another day. And fortunately, I'm safe. Uh, Josh, I have to tell you that uh, you want to stick around for the rest of the program tonight because uh, Barry Fitzgerald has written about experiences just like yours, where people are suddenly out of their bodies. They're in some strange environment, often dark, as if in a cave or underground, and uh, their senses are being manipulated. It's not clear where they are or why they're there. They sense that there are entities or some kind of intelligence around them, that they're there for some reason. But it's not clear what that reason is. And it really is a, an experience that sticks with you, obviously, uh, unless there's distortion or memory on purpose. Uh, so stick around, and you're going to hear some other uh, stories like yours, people who had these strange experiences that were all too real. Thanks for the call. West of the Rockies, Tony in Santa Rosa, California. How you doing, Tony? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you for 